Go ahead. Hey, good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live from the 2703 Cranberry Highway Church property. You can see the cross in the background. We're gonna be using that cross on the stage, which we're gonna show you how far the stage has been built this week. You're seeing the property now, it's been cleared. It is being graded today. Behind me over here is the church property sign. Not quite sure if you can notice, but the black that you see on the post, that's all been freshly painted, really makes for this sign to pop. And we are definitely gonna be changing the sign. No more just promoting the live stream. We're gonna be promoting services that are going to happen. Our expectation right now is Friday night, May 28th, we're gonna have a dedication prayer service here on the property. This is gonna be specifically for the Grace Lighthouse Church family. All of you who have invested money, time, energy, all those things are gonna to come together and we're gonna dedicate this property for God's glory, for God to use our every effort, every preaching of the gospel to see many people get saved this summer. So let's keep going here. This is beautiful, like everything in this property is really looking terrific. It's been it's being staked out professionally so that these guys put the, all the uh, proper material where it needs to go. See some of these mounds here. This is what this grading is so valuable because this is all your future parking. Not only your future parking, this is where the future building is going to go. In the meantime, we'll use it for parking. This is where the tent's going to be. Right here. This tent's going to be on solid pavement. And we've already marked out the, put the points of reference where the tent will be. It's 40 by 80. If you come over here in between these two vehicles, you believe that these are rocks. And this is where our 24 by 12 foot shed is going. People who will be working here Sunday mornings will be pulling all of those brand new chairs out of here and setting them under the tent. This is going to be an amazing building that uh, will have all of our sound equipment. When you come on Sunday mornings, this is where the stage will be. So right about midpoint of this property, this is where I'll be preaching from. This is where Beth and Amanda and Mark and uh, Paul, Mark will be teaching Sunday school right from here. This is gonna be fabulous. I mean, it's not that deep just to go to the other side. Everybody will have a great view. We're trying to figure out, will we have TV monitors in here? Not quite sure yet, but it's just gonna be fun. That way you won't be distracted by all this traffic. I'll have to pay attention in that way. Let's keep going. This property is unbelievable. You can't believe how much this has opened up. All this used to be trees. Now you see some of this equipment that's been here all week. Hopefully you've taken a drive by just to see what's happened. But the video's here to show you what's happened. We're gonna keep going this way. This guy's amazing, Denny, who owns this company. It's called Easy Does It. Uh, Denny and his team have done an amazing job. We, if Donnie can towards the welding building, you see all that brush that's been moved over there. All that will be eventually chipped and we'll put a lot of that as wood chips. There is some oak here that we want to get cut up. So if you have a chainsaw and you can come over this uh, next couple of days, some of that can be your home firewood if you like. The other is the pine and uh, you'll be able to, you know, that will be chipped and we'll be walking on these wood chips. But this property is going to be unbelievable. It's like a festival is brewing over here. <laughs> this type of stuff happening. This is another amazing piece of equipment just moving all these piles today. It's amazing the engineering that God has given Dan to build this stuff. 
surface so when you drive over here this summer you're not going to be walking in mud if it's wet it's going to be nice and packed down all the cars will over time will build this up but look at all this property that's been opened up and, and it keeps going it just keeps going stage which I can't thank Chris enough for what he did yesterday Chris you left your iced tea behind buddy um, <laughs> all of this pressure treated lumber was donated to the church do you realize how much lumber has gone up you know I've been looking at prices just in the last 24 hours saw a news story for uh, the, how much steel steel has tripled three times not sure how this building's ever gonna get built, only the Lord knows, but look what he's allowed us to do. This is all material that was donated, probably two or three thousand dollars worth of pressure treated lumber that has become our future stage. We've been sitting here for now about a year, uh, but I'm just telling you, I'm so grateful. Donnie, I just can't thank him enough. He's he's on this camera. <laughs> and uh, what, a, what a privilege we have as a, as a church, as a leadership, um, and you're part of this. And I, I would put this challenge out to you. A lot of money has been invested these last two weeks. The money that we put in, we've raised about $70,000. We're spending a good chunk of that just to do what we've done. If it's on your heart to contribute either to the general fund or to the, or to the building fund right now, is a great time because expenses keep coming, but God has provided. We are grateful for what God has allowed all of us to do. This is for his glory. This is his amazing world. And he's giving us a chance to be on this property, to share Christ, to his glory. All it, everything goes to him. Thank you, Lord. Uh, again, thanks everybody. And we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>